<laughs> that was the porn deal. That's the porn. Um, how'd the porn deal get back up there? Another one. <laughs> Jesus. We've talked about these, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just so they don't uh, show up. Okay, now, um, we're going to cover another case, but before we do that, I mean, did, did I make myself clear about what we just discussed? Do you have Vincent? Do you have any more questions? Uh, are we clear on that? Ed, I mean, uh, I knew it! I can tell the Chicano, you know, okay, what is it? Okay, due diligence, what does that happen? Does that happen? Okay, let me walk you through a, a simple scenario, okay. I, um, Kira and I have met, we've gone through all the bullshit, all the foreplay, et cetera, et cetera, and now uh, uh, it appears to both of us, uh, really it appears to me more than her, that there's a deal in the offing. And um, the, we agree um, on, um, we've now gotten down three to six times EBITDA. She's think six, I say three, I'm thinking three. And I've given her the pitch about, uh, I know that she's like eight or nine times, and, but I, can't, I just can't finance eight or nine times. So, but I said, I can finance 10 times over time. So she'll, uh, now forget her master's degree and all that bullshit education. So, well, could you explain that to me? Okay. Even if she's got all that education, she should ask, can you explain that to me? And I say that the, the base price will be, let's say, five and a half times EBITDA. And we'll, I'm going to pay you four and a half times EBITDA over time. In other words, through the fourth, through the eighth year, whatever the, however the numbers work out. Okay. And she, she, she agrees. Okay, because she figures out that she's going to be able to put her son through school and whatever the reason, it makes sense to her. Okay, but she's getting roughly as much as 70, 80 percent more than I was willing to offer. But it's going to be over time. That means it's going to be out of her cash flow. Now, you don't have to say that you're buying yourself out. Some people that have gone through the program are so fucking stupid. I'm really buying you with your own money. Do you understand that? I, I, I wish I was lying but I'm not. And there's nothing immoral about it, but you're buying them out of their own cash flow. People have been buying businesses uh, out of their own cash flow since Andrew Carnegie. So there's nothing wrong with it, nothing immoral with it. Okay, so now I say, um, now of course, all this is subject to finance and due diligence. Uh, how soon can we start the due diligence process? Okay, if she's as motivated as she appears to be, uh, she would say, uh, November 1, let's see, what's the date? No, yeah, November 1. How do you walk Rando? Oh, well, I'm not there yet. Okay. Don't, okay, don't be so concerned about, you know, I hear you guys, the reason why you're worried about locking in is because you're insecure. You know, I told you only three people have asked uh, to keep the shares in 46 years. When somebody tells me due diligence start November 1, I have my truck of accountants and fucking lawyers there on November 1 at 6.30 in the morning. It's up to them to tell me not to send them. And they're there. I've done due diligence on businesses that changed their mind in the interim and then sold anyway. Because they were too embarrassed to say that they changed their mind. That their wife nagged them to death. So they sold it to me anyway. I'm telling you guys, you're worrying about the wrong shit. Based on the, on the conventional wisdom of all the fucking morons. Okay, so November 1, is November 1 all right? Is that all right with you? Okay, November 1. I'll have, uh, it'll be a KPMG and my lawyer's uh, shit bag and shit bag uh, will be there. And of course, I mean, uh, since we have a rapprochement, I'll be there myself. I won't be there at 6.30. I'll be there a little late. Maybe we can have lunch that day. So you answer the question and say, okay, financing will be done in 60 days. No, no, she hasn't asked me that. He asked me due diligence. Yeah, sure. Okay. 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 So then, so subject to due diligence and financing. Okay, so we've already locked in, to use Ed, Ed's term. Due diligence starts November 1. Obviously, I'm going to ask, do you have the money? Money won't be the issue if the assets are what you purport them to be. Do they usually ask for approval? No. Directly from a board No, no. No, they don't. The, uh, and then I say, the board has 225 years of experience. We've got, well, if I'm on the board, we've got 
30 billion in deals, because uh, I've got 29 billion myself, forget the Hall of Fame guys, and, uh, and that, that doesn't, and a lot of it, guys, has to do with the strength of your board. If you've got a bunch of weak cunts with their vaginas flapping, I mean, they're going to laugh at you. And that's down deep inside, you know that. Down deep inside, not everybody on your board is twisted steel and panther piss. And they got to be twisted steel and panther piss. And that's an old West Texas uh, oil and gas uh, terminology for a tough motherfucker. Or another way of saying it, that old boy, he wears his clothes out from the inside out. Now, I never figured out what that means, but he wears his clothes out. He wears the clothes out. Instead of, you know, a, a cowboy wears his jeans, holes in the jeans from, you know, being out in the field. Well, uh, that old boy wears his clothes out from the inside out. Anyway, it's the same. It's twisted steel and panther piss. the same. Uh, Billy, Billy will understand what that means. Um, and so uh, the, um, and when you have a strong board, that's not the issue. Now, some of you, some of you watching, have had got letters from Bank of America. Uh, in fact, one of the guys who's supposed to be here, who uh, uh, I told you his mom got sick, he's not here. Uh, we got we got a document uh, from Bank of America, uh, if, in all legal weeds, bullshit, bullshit. The bottom line is, I can fund personally in my signature two hundred fifty million bucks. You know, five paragraphs later. On the 29th of February, when juxtaposed and you're on your way to Mars in the 15th year, da, 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 I personally, Joe fucking Rufus Doofus, executive VP of Bank of Assholes, can sign a piece of paper for $250 million. You sign a credit, actually is what it says. That's the last time that group will ever ask you about money. The thing that they, then they worry about, Kira, Oh, God, that, uh, the info I didn't give them all the real information. I, we don't any, especially because she's Chinese. You know, I don't mean to be racist, but there's three sets of books in China. Three, and you, you're shaking her head. Yeah, three sets of books. So, I mean, what set of books I got from her, I don't know. But there's a high probability <laughs> the ones I might have we can finance shit off of. So if she really wants to sell, she's going to have to fully disclose what the, the deal on the business is. But, I mean, you got to be on your front foot. The whole idea behind Creole is you put them on your back foot. Back foot meaning off balance. Just like, uh, you know, in, on, in my podcast and all the free information on my website says, well, Mr. Banker, and what is your legal lend what can you personally sign for, Eduardo? You. No, no, I don't mean, is that, are you part of a committee or are you the committee? And you say, no, I can sign for X. Or I'm part of three. I said, well, I wish you had told me that because let's set up another meeting. I'll come back when all three of you can meet with me. Now, you won't do that, YouTube. So don't tell me QLA doesn't work because you got no balls. I've gotten up from so many fucking meetings. And that's why I don't like people making appointments for me. Because it's hard to train a secretary an assistant to say, are, are, are all the people that are required to sign off on this motherfucking credit going to be at the cocksucking meeting? You won't live long enough to hire and train somebody to do that. That's why I used to, in the old days, make my own fucking appointments. And then, if the three of them weren't there, oh, you lied to me and you need two more, they say that I assaulted, accosted people. Those are the rumors. I will neither confirm nor deny if those rumors are true. But I would get up and leave. I would get up and leave. You wasted my fucking time. And then if they were, when they were all there, and if they said there was three and I'd walk in the room and there's only two people, one better be dead or in a coma. Uh, 
you're, you're making it harder than it has to be. Harder than it has to be. And a lot, uh, uh, much of this I, I learned in my days at Bear Stearns, but I mean, my, my leadership skills I had way before I went to Bear Stearns, way before. And, uh, and that's why tough-minded management and tough-minded leadership are the, not the only. Tough-minded leadership, tough-minded management, and release your brakes. I mean, you don't need anything else, really. And Joe Batten, was a, uh, hard, uh, who was the mentor of Rossboro, was a hard-nosed bastard. And I had the privilege of, uh, he was on one of my boards, and he was a great guy. A great guy. And in those days, of course, the, the kids like you can't believe this, Ross Perot, you had to have lace shoes, five laces, five holes only. That's it. You, you couldn't have tassels on your shoes. You got fired. You had one thin black briefcase. Within that briefcase was tough-minded Management by Joe Batten. A Bible, a picture of your wife, and if you had kids, and a legal pad with a pen and a pencil. That's it. And you dressed like a man in black, kind of like you right there. And he built EDS and sold it to General Motors and was a, a, the largest shareholder of General Motors based on that principle, and he was one of the first uh, brain trust, Ross Pro out of IBM. Now, this is 2016. None of the cunts on the, the YouTube want to do this, and it's too hard, yada, yada. Uh, but it still works. It still works. Okay, YouTube. See you tomorrow. Thank you.